I spy with my little eye, I spy the sun in the sky, I hear the wind in the trees, I hear the buzzing of bees. Where are we, do you know? In the wood where stories grow, whisper foxtails, open trees, softly, softly, this way, please. Lift up the latch and open the gate. Knock on the door, you won't have to wait. Grandpa Fox has a tale to tell. Come inside and listen well to Fox Tales. Ah, oh, hello. Um, I thought I'd show you some different vegetables. Now this is, uh, this is, uh, well, it's a vegetable. Now, <clears throat> what else have we got here? Uh, this, now this, is a, uh, it's a red vegetable, and, uh, uh, let me see, uh, no, no, no. this is a white vegetable, and um, uh, I'll find something I know the name of in a minute. This is a, oh, <laughs> that's, a that's a pie. <laughs> it's not a vegetable at all, it's a pie. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, I like pies more than vegetables. I know a story about a pie, hmm. and uh, dear Mrs. Fox, <laughs> shall I tell you? Hmm. Well, just imagine, it was like this. Once on a market day, Cat and Rooster bought a big mouth-watering pie. it all the way to their house. The pie was still too hot, so they decided to go for a walk and wait for it to cool. Mrs. Fox didn't bother to go all the way to the market. she knew a quicker way of getting a pie. So while the cat and rooster were out walking, she crept round. Pitter-patter. And... Mmm. Still too hot. She decided to take it to a safe place and wait for it to cool. Hmm, this is a good place. Still too hot. Uh, I just wait and I lie down a little, and uh, the pie will be just right when I wake up. Oh. Someone else had been to market that day. Someone else had bought a pie. A big pie for a big bear. Munch, munch, pie for lunch. Yummy lunch, a jump and scrunch. Butter pie, butter pie, this smells good. The curly the butter pie all through the wood. Shall I eat it? No, I'll not. I shan't because it's still too hot. Yes, I'll wait a little and... Uh, oh, it's another pie, just like mine. 
Whose pie can it be? <gasps> Who's this? It's Mrs. Fox. Aha! It must be Mrs. Fox's pie. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I'd better take my pie somewhere else before she wakes up. Mrs. Fox always plays tricks on me. I'd better go away quickly, somewhere else. Deary me, when Cat and Rooster came back home, they found <gasps> no pie. Huh? No pie. Someone must have stolen it. Someone is a robber. And if I catch him, ooh, I'll beat his bottom, and I'll bash him, and I'll mash him, and I'll thrash him, and I'll pinch him, and I'll wallop him, and I'll dollop him till he cries. Oh, that'll teach him to steal our pies. Just see if it won't, Mr. Rooster. Ooh. What? I could peck him. I could peck him. But someone is coming. And rooster? Ah, ah, this is the rubber then, is it? Hmm, hmm, hmm? Hmm. Ooh, give me back my pie. I'll teach you to steal pies, you robber. Ooh, you stealer. Oh, I didn't steal any. It's my pie. Hmm. Your pie? <laughs> it's my pie. No, it's mine. No. I'll bash you and I'll mash you and I'll thrash you and I'll wallop you and I'll dollop you till you cry. Oh, that'll teach you to eat my pie. It's my pie too. It's my pie too. You keep out of this. My, it's my pie. But did the cat believe him? Oh no, he bashed, and he mashed, and he thrashed, and he walloped, and he dolloped, until the bear said, Oh, wait a minute, I know who took your pie. Come with me, I can prove it to you. I know who is the robber. Come on. So off they both went. Here it is. Come, look. There is Mrs. Fox, just here. Oh. Mrs. Fox wasn't there. The pie wasn't there. But the cloth was. So the cat knew that it was his pie Mrs. Fox had stolen. And he felt very sorry. Oh, poor bear. To think I beat you with my rake. And you were telling the truth. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, and I shouldn't have walloped you. Oh, and I shouldn't have dolloped you. And I shouldn't have mashed you. And, oh, never mind. Hey, let's be friends again. You can come back with me to your house, and we can share my pie. No, no. It's big enough for all of us. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Bear. I wasn't that kind of Mr. Bear. So, when they came back, they all sniffed and they scrunched and they chomped and they munched till their tummies were full somebody else's tummy was even fuller. And they were all very contented, as they should be. Mmm, my goodness, what a pie. And uh, here is my pie. I think I'll tuck into it. All this talking about pies is making me go hungry. 
Well, come uh, and listen to some more stories, won't you? Oh, it's a lovely, lovely pie. Oops, what, <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> I'll have to pick it up. But uh, first, bye-bye. I'll finish eating. <laughs> mm. Mm.